This is Cobalt Z and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a game called Prison Architect, which you probably know already uh, because it's been out for close on three years um, in early access. It's by a company called Intravision, uh, who has made over the past basically three years, have done monthly updates to the game uh they've done video blogs basically which frankly are are both hilarious and informative uh i occasionally would just go back and watch some of them just because they are funny they're amusing and because occasionally i forget about some uh, oh no i forget about some aspects of this game this started as basically a simple and you can see from top down, it's kind of reminiscent of RimWorld in a way. Uh, the principle, obviously, is that you build a prison. Hold on one second. And you collect your prisoners arrive. Like you see, I have 18 prisoners arriving in 48 minutes. Yeah, you, there's a financial aspect, etc. I'm not quite sure how I will begin. I guess I will begin with the financial. So, you receive certain money. I think the 2000 there is just for operating a prison. This grant is based on how many prisoners I have. The prisoners are divided into low risk, normal risk, high risk, and then there is another category. Let me just pick out a random prisoner. Not the phone booth. Come on there. Here you see I can I can just set him to minimum, normal, max, protective custody. That it'd be like for informants and such or super max. I don't have a super max so he's just staying max right now. There's a lot of inf int interesting detail on your prisoners. This guy got 11 years for trafficking. He served 2.6 years. His reputation is none. Play prisoners can have uh, reputations, bad or, or super bad. This is kind of what's been going on the 25 days he's been in my prison. And here's an estimation of his reoffending rate, which is we'll talk about more. This cracks me up. I got to show you this. Uh, we got a situation. This right here, uh, not the phone booth. Mark Morris Morris. Mark the Morris Morris is one of the. He's like the uh, producer for the video for the game. So totally cracked me up when I saw he arrived in my prison. So hello, Mark the Morris Morris. If you ever happen to watch this, there you are, and I'm keeping a close eye on you. Uh-oh. All right. During the... Uh, I'm going to have to explain this while managing it. During the hot middle kind of part of the day, after, after prisoners wake up, is when tensions start to rise because they get hungry and etc. Now you see Dougie Gilmore here is fighting and s now don't go anywhere just just stay there i often will turn my armed guards to free fire at the kind of this stage you go in there uh, there's so much i want to explain and i'm having trouble arriving at how to do it to begin with i should have maybe showed you a new prison but the building is kind of boring you have a warden you have accountants, you have all kinds of things. There is a bureaucracy screen here where once you start with the warden and you can research finance and then hire an accountant, you can research security and hire a security officer and then they in turn can research and unlock various things like a bank loan, etc. You Ultimately, see I haven't, I haven't re researched all of these yet obviously. But slowly over time, you can research, and then you can get dogs. So w when you research dogs, what happens? You get these dog handlers. Uh, my dogs, I only have two right now. They're all sleeping. But the dogs can, you can, I'll show you later. 
if I remember. You can take a dog like through this area and the dog will sniff all the prisoners and if there's a, uh, contraband items that the pr dog can smell, i.e. like a wooden club, the dog's not going to be able to smell. Oh shit. Oh, we do have one here. Good. I have some of them on patrols, but see, there we go. Motherfuckers flying off the handle. So just shoot him. There we go. <laughs> See, now these guys have surrendered because of the presence of the armed guard. Uh, what sets a prisoner off sometimes is a little hard to decipher. Usually, see, destruction, if he if he had attacked a prisoner out and breeze raised him to maximum security. Since he didn't, I'm not going to, but... There's a lot of hostility in there. Why can't I collect? Uh, we had new prisoner intake. That's not helping. This is the... I can't see it and I don't remember. This is like reception. This is where they come in. They're all strip searched. And search for contraband. You can see I got a lot of guards in here. You can click on any one of these and see what they're here for. So, see, he's got eight years for two violent disorder charges, whatever that means. He has no reputation. See, we found drugs on him after just arriving. So, and then, so, let me... Ah, oh, shit, there's just stuff happening everywhere. Where is it? Where is it? Another guy's seat. There we go. He's dead. Oh, is that three deaths? <gasps> I gotta be careful because more than X amount of deaths in a day and you can basically lose your shit. Let me see what's going on. There is a... There's all kinds of tabs here. Staff tab that shows... Oh, we had a dead worker. Oh, these guys are fighting down here. You, sir. My armed guard, come down here and stop this problem. Armed guard. You jerks. Dang it. Oh, he's a piece of... He's a... Uh, look at there. Look at that. He's just... Get there quick, will you? Sorry, I, I'm distracted by all that's occurring here. Hurry up. The armed guard is taking a long way, for shit's sake. They're all going to be dead if I don't do something. You, sir, come over here. There's five deaths. He's just going to go on and kill everyone out here, isn't he? Ah, dang it. Now, see, what happens is he's doing this... Eventually, he'll get a conviction for murder will appear there. Some of these guys are just... And he's a gang member, I feel, as well. I am not explaining this very well. I am sorry about that. If we don't get... Oh, good. He got beat up, finally. Was Is it this guy killing everyone? <clears throat> the problem is that ultimately, yeah, shoot this MF over here, will you? Honestly, look at all these dead. That's a lot of dead today. I'm in trouble. Probably going to lose the prison right here. Let's look at finance for a second. It will tell me. Now knows valuation. Deaths in past 24 hours, 5. I think it's like 20. Some will get you in trouble. I, I've totally forgotten what I was talking about. I want to see what's going on. So here's my staff. <coughs> There's my workers, all my guards. I have quite a few guards. I have four armed guards. I have two dog workers. Then you need, obviously you need cooks, and you need clean uh, janitors, basically, and there's a doctor, 
plus your administrators. The prisoner tap I showed you. Look at that. Dead. 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 And then we have intake, which we're at max. We're at 190. I'm going to just close this now because we're almost mad. Well, we could take five because we had five deaths, but... Here's jobs that my people are in process of doing. Sometimes that's helpful to see, you know, do I have too many, like, workers? Do I have too few <clears throat> needs? So what is driving all this? Food is part of it. Hygiene. There, see, the red is obviously critical, is bad. The blue means these are being worked on. So, like, some people are in the yard, so they're working on their recreation skill. Or if they were in, like, uh, you can have common rooms. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what it is about doing this that makes me get all coffee. Here's a common room. So they could go in, the guard, the prisoners could go and play pool there and such. Freedom, but they're working on that by being out of their cells and... Uh, there's just a lot of needs, like literacy and spirituality were added kind of recently. I have a little chapel set up here. They can go and meet that need. And I have... Somewhere I have... Right here is a library, but no one is qualified to work in it yet. Um, what do I mean by that? Let me, let me come back to that. The regime... This allows you to set up what happens when based on class of prisoner. So I obviously try to have it so that my max security guys, who are the really bad ones, don't eat at the same time as the other. I especially try to keep the minimum security people away from the max and even the normal to some extent. The, min the max are locked up a lot. They have one a, a yard time when basically everybody's doing something else and one shower time and one eat time. And so a lot of them are pissed off. Also because, <clears throat> because here I researched permanent punishments, I have some people who are just permanently, I'd have to send a guard there to see them. Some people are on like, permanent solitary confinement and that's what I tend to do with my worst ones okay let's let it go again let's hope we have no more deaths today I almost hope this guy dies because he I feel like maybe not who was the one who was doing now see he this guy who was just beating him he got an aggravated assault just now 14 years added to his prison stay. Who was the one who started all this? There's some one of these should have a murder by their thing. There he does, see? So once he if he once he gets cured, I want him to be in solitary permanently. This is this I I dislike Mike worst Mike Grinspan or whatever. See, he's just been, he hasn't done anything. And his reoffending chance is very low. A reoffending chance ties into how you perform things in your prison and their parole chance, which you see this guy's having a parole hearing right now. This is a really bad explanation. I'm just bouncing all over, but I didn't expect five deaths to occur today. So, see, he served half of his term in our prison. And so it, at 50% and at 75%, they can get, uh, they can have parole hearings. He has, he's had, he's had no problems. Uh, he hasn't done any reform pr pr programs, but at 26%, I think he will actually get paroled. You can set your parole rate. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Right here. Oh, it's cut it cut off his 28. So he will, uh, below 28%, will get paroled. Now, the thing about parole... Ah, shit, I'm just going all over the place. 
and we're like 15, closing in on 15 minutes already. The thing about parole, if he gets paroled at a 50% of his ter of his term of prison imprisonment, once he gets paroled, the game will calculate whether he would have reoffended or not, kind of instantly. And if it determines he would not have reoffended, based on how things happened here, and it, like you notice, on arrival, the estimate was 31% reoffending. It's actually gone down 5%. So if it determines the game determines he would not re have re he does not reoffend, I get three thousand dollars. If it determines he does reoffend, then I think I get a penalty, which of I think it's maybe even ten thousand bucks, which seems like a lot. But oh, here here uh, some kind of spiritual leader has arrived to do uh, chapel service, and there's one. Simpson is coming to work. Ah, I installed these servos. And this guy is attending the foundational education program, which is a big deal. Ah, uh, I really, I apologize. I feel like I'm not describing this well because there's just so much going on. But you get the idea. You build, you know, what was the first building I built here was probably like this one. This, these are nicer cells, by the way. They're a little bigger. They have radios and stuff in them. Uh, and this is mostly... Now, see, he's a normal security. This is a low security building. What did he do? Escape attempt. Well, some things theoretically will automatically raise their rate by one level. Like, what did he do? Well, found I determined myself that if if a minimum security prisoner finds a weapon, is found with a weapon, I'm bumping him up. So that is MinSec. Let me show you a deployment. See, this a blue is min secu minimum security only. So the minimum security prisoners can only go here, here, and here. And then the white areas are shared. So like they can eat here, they can go to parole, they can go to the library. They can go to the chapel in the classroom, to the infirmary, and they can work in like the laundry and storage and whatnot. Up here, this whole big thing is medium security. I think that's the medium security. I'm colorblind, so it's awkward for me. Oh, you know. So that's all medium. The red here is all maximum security. So I try to keep them in located in one place. That canteen should be max security only. Dang it. There we go. So they will stay in these cells. They will eat in that kitchen. They will, in that cantina, they will exercise in that yard. And that's about all they do. The white, obviously, is shared. The black is uh, for personnel, prison personnel only. And then there's a scheduler and stuff, which is more than you need to know. I do have certain guards on station. That's what all these little blue guard things are. They're stationed in those places. Basically, I have four, two in each cell of max security, one in the min, and two over here in kind of the mix. What, and no one here? Okay, that's got to change. There we go. Boom. Now, he's kind of slick. He's kind of in the canteen. I don't want it. There we go. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. It's a very, very complicated game, including has up to, you know, the death penalty. The only thing I wish, I'm going to have to end here because I'm basically running out of time. The only thing I wish about the death penalty, attack the prisoner, if he wasn't already max, I would make him, is that, like, some of my really bad guys... Like like these who are these who were involved in that recent attack. I'm hitting a uniform. Let's see what did he do? If they attack staff, like I had one guy. He's he's dead. He was killed in a riot. Actually, I had one guy who kept attacking. His list of recent misconduct was like all the way down to the bottom. And I wanted I wanted I, what I wish I could do, but cannot. What's happening over here now? Or is it here? 
There's more shit going on here today than, uh... Do I need two armed guards up here? No, let's send one in here, because that looks like that's starting to boil. Oh, here's the dog patrol. Let me just show you this quick. I'll take it in the shower to the offense of every prisoner in there, and you'll be able to see the dog... See the little sniff icon? There we go. I've just violated the, uh the uh, privacy of all those now it's stuck there we go and I do have obviously I have a patrol where some of them come through here but what I was saying and what I'd like to end with when you get a guy who's got who's keep his attacked there 3,000 early release so that guy who just got released didn't reoffend, and I got my 3,000 yay um uh, I wish there was a way... Let me find one of my bad, bad guys. I'll just assume he's a bad guy. And he is because he was... Well, he just... But see, I wish I could set... The only thing I can do is up to super max. I can't set him to death penalty. Death penalty prisoners only arrive through intake if you, if you select to receive them. And... I understand why they do that. They don't want us to be just executing prisoners right and left, right? It's a politically sensitive issue. But I wish, like, once every, you know, the day, it works on days. Once every 20 days or something, I could just take one of my really bad max security guys and send him, put him on death row and attempt to execute him. Because if I collect some, someone comes through, I open up intake to one death row prisoner. He arrives, he comes in through here, etc. I don't even know who he is. And I don't really have, but someone who's been in my prison and has attacked staff like four times and has murdered a couple of people, I have really strong feelings for wanting to really punish that person. If I could put one of those people on death row, it would have meaning for me. Which, again, is probably exactly why IV didn't set it up that way. But I, I wish they would. I wish they would give us the right just every once in a while. Like, here, this one. Attack prisoner, attack staff, serious injury, and murder. And then he got killed himself. But, you know, maybe he would be one I would want to be like, no, nope, putting you on death row... But I can't. So, uh, introvision, introversion, if you're listening, please, once every 20 days or so, can we please, pretty please, take one of our own prisoners who's been really, really hard to handle and put them on death row, please? Anyway, this is, to this is uh, Cobalt Zed. It's just kind of a brief overview. There's a lot to this game. Uh, if you're interested in this, let me know. And I'll do more videos that are more detailed and less kind of broad strokes overview. And I will talk to you later.